Jeopardy! Fans were stunned when none of the contestants stepped up to the plate for a $200 clue about Jackie Robinson. The task of simply naming the baseball trailblazer wound up being a triple stumper on Tuesday's episode. Returning champ Ben Goldstein faced Tim Blanchard, a cryptocurrency and angel investor from Nashville, Tennessee, and Janie Sullivan, a scrum master from Park Ridge, Illinois. Unfortunately, the interesting job titles, Scrum is a project management framework used by various types of professionals, weren't the only thing Jeopardy! fans picked apart. Mame Bialik, 47, read the $200 clue under nonprofits in the first round, which is the lowest value, meaning it should be the easiest. The screen displayed, helping minority kids go to college. The foundation named for this Brooklyn Dodger was begun in 1973, a year after his death. No one buzzed in, and the host told them, that's Jackie Robinson. No one knew Jackie Robinson. When Robinson was drafted by the Brooklyn Dodgers in 1947, it made him the first African American to play in Major League Baseball. Twitter was up in arms and on person wrote, nobody knew Jackie Robinson. Hashtag Jeopardy. And we're all screaming Jackie Robinson. Hashtag Jeopardy wrote another. Watching Hashtag Jeopardy and seeing none of the contestants not know who Jackie Robinson is boggles my mind. Maybe they should stop learning about mythology and Shakespeare and learn about things that matter, wrote a third. I think the contestants could use a break right now after the stand and stare on Jackie Robinson, wrote a fourth. How did no one on it Jeopardy know Jackie Robinson that is crazy, wrote a fifth. The day after Juneteenth, and all the Jeopardy contestants couldn't get Jackie Robinson. Jesus Christ wrote a sixth. Ben won the episode making him a three-day champion with $21K. Fans also had a field day with Tim who revealed he climbed Mount Everest with his oxygen tank having blown out. He seemingly was responding before getting the go-ahead from Maine, and with a total of minus $3,800 was asked to leave for final Jeopardy. One fan snark, Tim the cryptocurrency and angel investor today is making it hard for me to be a good person lol. It's pretty jarring when spelling Tim as Tim is the third most objectionable thing about a hashtag Jeopardy contestant, ripped another. Blind spot. Recently a contestant during a high school reunion tournament was asked a daily double clue that read, from 1936 to 1967 this colorful guide aided African Americans in traveling safely during segregation. Justin Balson who won the tournament took a long pause and incorrectly answered, what is the black book? The correct answer was, what is the green book which has also been adapted into an Oscar-winning movie? Earlier this season, all three contestants drew blanks on a clue looking for Supreme Court Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson. It read, she's the first black woman on the Supreme Court and the first justice to have been a federal public defender and no one buzzed in.